Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a open tag sort of video, a um, knife ramble-ish type video, and um, this is an open tag that a channel called RJ's Knives started. I'll be 100% honest with you guys, I did not know who that was, I'd never heard of them uh, until I saw an open tag video from The Last Ranger. And then I saw one from uh, Patty's Potato uh, Peelers. I saw one from Patty. And it made me want to do the same video just because I literally was watching those as I was walking to go get my kid from daycare. And it just had my mind like running, right? I was just sitting there or walking going, man, what knives have I gotten based off of a YouTuber's recommendations? And that's what this is about. So shout out to RJ's Knives. I'm going to link him down below. Um, I'll probably do what I usually do when I do these open tag videos, which is pretty rare because I don't usually see them or get tagged in them or whatever. Um, but I'll I'll create a playlist on my channel for the open tag, and then I'll put all of the videos that I can find from other YouTubers into the playlist. So if you're interested to see what Patty and RJ and Last Ranger Gary think, um, or, you know, their knives that have been influenced by YouTubers, uh, you can watch that playlist. I'll, uh, I'll either link the playlist below, or I'm sure you can find it if you go to my channel page. Anyway, um, I, this is a <laughs> sort of a weird one for me because I am a YouTuber and I, I don't know. I buy a lot of knives to review. I, I don't know. It's sort of like difficult for me to think of knives that I bought on someone else's YouTube recommendation, right? Because I'm always up to date on what's coming out and I feel like I find out about something from the manufacturer's Instagram or, you know, Blade HQ or, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's very rare that I watch a YouTube video and the knife in it is something I've never seen, right? Um, that used to happen. And that's why some of these are older. Um, but I'm also going to kind of take some liberties here and include friends because a lot of my friends in the community also have channels. So if they recommend something, it kind of counts, right? I don't know. Um, I'm doing the video so I can do whatever I want. So anyway, um, the open tag is for knives that you bought based off of a YouTuber's recommendation, basically you were influenced by a YouTuber to buy this knife, right? Um, so the first one's a very interesting one. This is the Ohlone Knives Goat, okay? Now this is the version two. The one I'm talking about is the version one, and I never actually did get that one, but I specifically bought this knife because of the influence of one slicey dicey all right so uh brian did a video on the uh Ohlone goat version one that was made by tuya this one's made by riot and that one had like these inlays with this cool carbon fiber that had blue or red or just plain marbled carbon fiber titanium frame lock basically this right but just not this colorway plain tie marble carbon fiber inlay um blade shape design size all of it the same right uh Ohlone knives just his name is Derek Costa by the way he is a fellow lefty um he switched to Riot on his next run because he just didn't like certain fit and finish and um I guess some things with Tuya I'm not sure exactly what happened there um but I'm glad he did because I really do like the Riot version a lot uh this one has been heavily modded uh by well, first by MB Wild. Shout out to MB Wild. He dyed these scales. Uh, these were red G10. Now they're like this beautiful Merlot sort of leathery looking G10. To me, sometimes it still looks like micarta or something. It's just really nice. Um, he also dyed the backspacer. And then I sent it to Knife Modders, and they did this bronze anno. He MB Wild had done that before, but they kind of refinished it for me because I scratched the shit out of it. So they did this anno work on the scales, on all the hardware. Look how beautiful that like coffee bronze is. Um, and then they did a regrind on this blade, which is just absolutely fantastic. Skiff bearings, it 
drops. Very smooth on this. Detent is money. Anyway, Slicey Dicey did a video on this, and I... This is one of those knives that escaped me for so long. And then eventually after like a year, he came out with the version two and I saw they had him at Urban EC Supply. And this was one of the first knives I reviewed on the channel. And um, I had to get one. I just had to get one because I had wanted that version one so bad um, on Slicey's recommendation, you know. Uh, I know Brian's not around anymore. I don't know what's going on with him. Um, you know, there was all that drama or whatever. Um, you know, at this point, I'd say I, I wish the man well. I hope he's doing well. I know he was expecting. So um, I hope they had their child and everything's going well. And and um, if he decides to give it another shot, um, you know, I, I'll... Uh, I'll give the guy a second chance. You know what I mean? We all make mistakes. So if the video is still up, I'm going to do my best here to link videos for these. If the video is still up for, for the Ohlone Goat version 1 from uh, Slicey, I will link it down below. Uh, but that was a knife, man. It, I wanted it so bad. And then shout out to Women Carry Knives, Christine. I finally was able to handle the version 1, and I did a comparison of that to this version two, um, because she has one, she loaned it to me. So big shout out to Christine for that. Um, so that's the Aloni Nice Goat version two, influenced by Slicey Dicey. The next ones are interesting in the sense that these are all sort of friends, and they influenced me to get these knives. Now, I want to keep. I want you to keep in mind that I loan a lot of knives out. I probably have twenty knives loaned out right now. So I probably could have more on this list. I just don't have all my knives. So I looked at my knife case and I, you know, was thinking of how I got them, who influenced me, blah, blah, blah. And this is what I came up with. So anyway, the next two were influenced by uh, one of my best friends in the community, um, Jake over at Bearded Gear. So this is the Vero Engineering Axon. And um, Jake was... Um, pretty into Vero when I met him, or uh, maybe it was a little bit after, I don't know, but he had Joseph on his podcast, and um, he had this knife pre-ordered, the Axon, and me being an idiot, which we all know I am, I didn't realize it had a slot on both sides, I assume like his other knives, it just had the slot on this side, so that righties could reverse flick it, right, and now, Keep in mind, this one right here is a left-handed version. Uh, Joseph has uh, very graciously made left-hand versions, but I'm talking about the knife in general. And I had literally this spec in a right-handed version. Um, but anyway, Jake pre-ordered it, and I thought it was ugly. I thought it was dumb. It only had the slot on one side, right? Um, you know, I'm like, oh, it's got this little flipper tab thing for front flipping, like whatever, right? And um, Jake got it in. And once he got it in, he was he sent us a video, like me and a couple buddies. I think it was just me and Kyle at the time, D2M Knives and Gear. We were all, the three of us, in a group chat. And I saw the other slot, and I was like, what? It has a slot on the other side. It's a liner lock. Like, it would work great left-handed. Why don't I have one? And, like, all of a sudden, this knife went from have no desire, couldn't care less about this knife, to have to get one, like, I got the jitters, I'm jonesing for an Axon, and I go, and I ended up, um, I think I paid 450 for one on the secondary, <laughs> to get one, keep in mind, this is like a, I don't know, maybe $300 knife retail in this configuration, probably, like, right under that, um, so I way overpaid, but I had to get one, and it, if you guys recall, it was the cream, cream your pants unboxing, um, so I really did like the knife, and I did end up selling it because the clip was too tight, and whatever, and now I have the lefty, which is perfect, the clip has been adjusted, it's left-handed, obviously, I mean, this knife is absolutely incredible, Joseph killed it, and he made lefties, right, um, but it all started with Jake's, you know, uh, videos and, you know, him recommending the knife, basically. Um, 
Jake doesn't really recommend knives, I guess. He just kind of like tells it what he thinks. And if he really likes it, it's kind of like recommending. You know what I mean? Um, whereas I'm kind of like, you gotta get one of these or I'm gonna come through that screen in 4K and I'm gonna strangle you. You better buy one. You know what I mean? I don't do that, but you get my point. So that's the Axon, influenced by Jake. And also influenced by Jake is the CKF Satori 2.0. So not this exact one, because this is the second one I've had. But I had the original CKF Satori 2.0, which essentially is just, you know, stonewashed handle and stonewashed blade instead of uh, DLC black wash and satin. Um, so it's pretty much the same. I also have this baller custom clip on here from Johnny T. Check him out on Instagram. I think it's Johnny underscore T underscore knives on Instagram. These are dope clips. I have a few. Um, so Jake got this knife and I had never heard of it. Um, this is the 2.0. There's a 1.0 or just Satori. And that's a huge ass CKF. I reviewed one of those. If you want to check it out, it's like a four inch blade of Noxious, but they came out with this 3.3 inch version and Jake absolutely loved it. And at the time, uh, Jake and I had very similar tastes and it was kind of a running joke that we would kind of tally like who bought a knife because the other one did, if you know what I mean? Like I would get a knife and, and review it or whatever. And we'd always were talking. So it's less about these videos than it is about just us having conversations, but we obviously did videos on all these. Um, but, you know, one of us would be like, oh, I got this, you know, whatever knife, and it's awesome. And then the other one would buy one, and then we'd kind of, like, tally it up, right? Uh, who who influenced the other one more? And it's just a friendly thing. And Jake definitely had way more in the column um, than I did, at least back when that was a thing. Um, you know, I probably caught up by now. I'm just kidding. Um but yeah, he really liked the Satori 2.0 and it made me want to get one. And that's, you know, that's not the only time that, um, it's literally, it's two times in a row where I kind of thought a knife was not for me, kind of ugly at first. And then Jake kind of really liked it and it made me want to try it. And then I got it in. And once you get a knife like this in hand, I don't know, it's like, seeing it in pictures just didn't do it for me but then i got it and i was like oh i get it now right and that same exact thing happened with the evo and the evo 2.0 uh kyle i don't have my evo right now so i can't show it to you but that's another one kyle over at dtom knives and gear uh one of my best friends literally like in the world not just uh in the knife community he had an Evo 1.0, and it was like his ultimate grail. I remember talking to him. I was driving, and he was sending us voice chats. He was in the parking lot waiting to meet this guy so that he could do the deal to buy it. And he was paying like, I don't know, $1,100 for it or something. And he was just so excited about the Evo. And he let me borrow it. Um, and I ended up getting an Evo 2.0. And it was mostly because him and then Jake had gotten a 2.0, loved these knives so much. He was just raving about how cool they looked, the hollow grind, right? But to me in the pictures, again, it was like, eh, I don't know. But I dropped 590 on an Evo 2.0 from NC Blade. And when it got here, man, I loved it. And now I've had every version of the Evo 2.0. And I obviously, like my favorite knife is the 2.0 um in the carbon fiber that i have so um that's the jake and kyle section absolutely just we uh, we obviously are really good friends but we also have similar tastes in a lot of ways and in some ways we don't like kyle loves big ass knives right jake is more of a you know a custom knifey guy now um where i'm kind of more like staying in that premium production range that's what the, that's my sweet spot um but anyway and then, ironically, talking about Chris and, uh, sorry, Jake and Kyle, we sort of added another guy to that mix, uh, Chris, over from, over from, from Grady's Gear. And uh, to this day, we have a group chat where it's the four of us and we bullshit all day, every day. Um, and yeah, so anyway, 
a few months ago, Chris kept talking about this company, Axial Gear. And he was talking about their OTFs. And he had brought it up like two or three times. And um, I kind of just was like, okay, yeah, whatever, you know, OTF, tactical OTF, whatever, cool. And um, eventually, like, I actually saw one. I was like, oh, that's actually like a good looking OTF, right? It's a nice clip point. They're not going over the top here. They don't have a freaking glass breaker. Like, they're just not going crazy. It's just a nice edc -able, you know, OTF. So uh, I really liked it. I reached out to them. I ended up joining their affiliate group. They sent me one to check out. Uh, this one, they actually make left-handed clips. If you can tell, this is a lefty clip. Uh, it's not reversible. You can see it's on a slant. So you have to actually get... When you order, you can choose a lefty clip. But anyway, I got one, and it's because of Chris. I mean, Chris uh, was the first one to get one. Um, he really liked it. Like, just, that's just how it was. Like, just um, on his, basically, recommendation, I picked, you know, I talked to them, and I and I got one. I didn't pay for it. They actually sent me one. Uh, but, you know, I got it because of his influence. So, um, shout out to Chris and I, guys, I love these Axial Gear knives. I think I have a Warren Cliff version on the way now to check out. Um, I've checked out their little knife, the dart. Those aren't really for me, the little, you know, uh, money clip OTFs, but this thing's awesome. And for the price range, like this is just the perfect OTF, so to speak. Like you're, you're paying right around 200 bucks with our discount codes. It's a little less. If I remember, I'll put Chris's in the, in the description instead of mine because he's the one you know getting the shout out here um if you pick one up it'll you know credit will go to chris um i think you just use code grady's gear so there you go um but yeah it's just a good cutter it's a good ergonomic knife it's just you know for the price point made in america under 200 bucks or right at 200 bucks stellar action i mean it does not have more or less really blade play stuff than the Microtex do, yet you're paying a hundred and something less, or you know, a hundred less. It has that Protex style finish to the aluminum scales, like it, it has great action, uh, just phenomenal. It really is. And then the lefty clip kind of put it over the top, plus 20 CV or S35. They have a bunch of different stuff now, you can check them out. But Axial Gear, so that one's influenced by my brother Chris over at Grady's Gear, and the last one. This is another channel that um, I would call a friend, uh, but this guy would not shut up about the this freaking knife on his live stream I was watching one night, and it was a Friday night, so guess who it was? And he just wouldn't shut up about the more Mylea. It was all the more Mylea, the Mylea, the Mylea, the Mylea, the more Mylea, la, 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 la. Luck, luck, look at this. It's very, very nice. You guys know what I'm talking about bees blades. Uh, Brian is a cool dude, and uh, yeah, he basically shoved the Malia down my throat, and I ended up buying one when they came out. This is the more Malia, the large version. Uh, I got it from White Mountain Knives. Shout out to them. Use my code Lefty Ten. Um, and guys, it's a absolutely phenomenal budget knife. This thing is fifty bucks. It's an AR RPM nine seal. So you're not going to have rusting issues, but you're still going to get decent edge retention. Nice stone wash blade. Great action. The detent on this one, just absolute money. So poppy. Uh, reverse flick is money. Thumb flick is money. Like, it's just a really good knife. I'm trying not to use this finger because I really jacked this corner up and it hurts every time I, you know, shove my finger into a lock bar. <laughs> And try to close the knife um but yeah I, I got this knife and i fell in love pretty much instantly it, it, the ergos are really good once you get used to them it's one of those where you gotta like just hold it a few times and then you get used to it i love it it's kind of like a like a, i don't know like a baby evo or something i don't know a budget evo um and the blade is phenomenal it's a tall blade with a nice thin grind uh, great action again, easy to carry, deep carry clip that actually has, you know, good clearance. Uh, you don't get caught up down here where it sticks out. Uh, it's not an issue on this knife. Um, just a really good knife and Bees was right. I mean, you know, uh, he influenced me on this one. I picked it up and I totally love the knife. So um, that's it, guys. Those are the five knives. 
that I have right now that were influenced by YouTubers. We have the Ohlone Knives Goat Version 2 Slicey Dicey. We have the Vero Engineering Axon and the Custom Knife Factory Satori 2.0. Jake over at Bearded Gear. Kyle from uh, D2M Knives and Gear included in that because of the uh, Evo. And then Chris from Grady's Gear. The Axial Gear Shift OTF. And Bees, Blades, the CJRB, more my Leah. So if anybody else has a channel is watching this, um, please make a video if you want. It's an open tag. Shout out again um, to RJ for the knives. Did I get that right? No, I feel like I got that wrong. Oh, God. I hope it's RJ. RJ's knives. It'll be linked down below. Um, he is more into traditionals, and I'm guessing that's why I hadn't heard of him before. Um, so apologies for that. I, I can only find and, and watch and, you know, so many people, but I still feel bad, you know? Um, yeah, there'll be a playlist for these. Uh, what else? If you're in the comments, if you don't have a channel, Hey man, tell me what knives you bought that were influenced by me. Um, has that happened? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, I don't think people have bought knives based on my recommendation, but I, I'd been, I'd wonder, you know, if it happens often, if, you know, like there's one guy, John Evans, shout out to Javon. He's always giving me shit telling me I, you know, I forced him to buy this or that. Um, and obviously that's all in good fun. But I would be interested to, to hear in the comments if there's anything you bought because of me. Um, but I've bought plenty of knives based on recommendation. I mean, that's... A lot of times, that's the way it goes, right? Um, and before I had a channel, that's kind of what you do. You watch certain channels that you that you mesh with, that you kind of you have the same sort of tastes and things like that. Like another example would be Stasa, Stasa Twenty Three, um, the uh, Richard Rogers OEM Slim Utility. I've bought two of those now, basically because I watched his video a long time ago and was like, "My God, I need one of these." You know what I mean? The Oz Roosevelt, um, that's a good one. Um, Eugene from Dashboard Reviews was the first Oz Roosevelt video I saw, and I was blown away immediately. He had this one with, like, green handles, and it was, like, number five or something. It was a really low number. That was awesome, right? And I always will remember him as the, being the first person I saw with a Roosevelt. Um, so it, it sticks with you a little bit. So this is an absolutely fantastic topic uh rj you nailed it with this one uh really appreciate you doing this open tag it was a lot of fun and uh yeah so that's it guys um i hope you enjoyed it let me know um if you enjoy the content feel free to subscribe there's a little like thing right here where you can subscribe uh and that's it guys i absolutely love you all i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later